Hey guys, so today we finally released Refire 1.82 with uh, 2019 support and there is not a lot of features in this in this release, it's mostly about uh, support of new uh, Fritz Max, but there's one little bonus for you, so we added uh, Voronoi fragmentation type into Refire Shatter here. Uh, previously there was only tetrahedron based fragmentation type. Uh, which fragments uh, everything into these tetrahedrons, which later can clustering into the more complex fragments. But now you can do the same for Voronoi fragments. So let's use some some high amount of fragments without them. And now you can start using this damage and clustering for Voronoi fragments. So damage is feature which allows you to randomly remove some portions of your geometry. To make it look like it was damaged. Also, right now, all the elements separated, but uh, you can glue them together by this button here. So right now, it's just one uh, complex element, and also you can smooth the inner surface and to get more natural look. So if you want to damage some geometry, I guess this is the quickest way. Just play with these damage properties here. Say the, I mean this one. Also, it can be used to cluster, cluster the damaged area. I will show you later. Uh, now you can uh, clustering the rest of the uh, geometry. Just go to the clusters, turn it on, and there's uh, four cluster types by map, radial, by half, and by point cloud. You can use them all together with each other. To do so, just uh, increase, let's say, by point cloud. So I'll set here 90 points and I will scale down my cluster so you'll see them. Okay, you can see now all these uh, complex fragments which were created by this uh, fragmented elements. Okay, now you can uh, add other uh, clustering types. Let's see by half. To Cluster even more. Uh, it's actually it's, uh, very easier to see what happens uh, on the light box. This one. So just let me show you. Uh, I'll go to the clusters here. Turn it on. So first one is by map. Uh, I will enable it, and now I can pick a map. Let's try this one. This is just a black and white uh, image. And now I will scale down. So here you can see my clusters created by the image. Now you can cluster cluster them even further using other types. So you can use every of these uh, four cluster types together. Uh, let me turn off my map. So next one is radial. Creates radial clusters. It's better to use it with other uh, cluster types. Uh, next one is by half and just divides uh, all the elements by half and then divides the second biggest uh, cluster by half and so on. So let me decrease my noise. It's better to use this by half type for in case you want to have low amount of clusters and increase scale. So if I will add another iteration, it will just uh, divide by half the uh, the biggest one, then the other one, and so on. And the last uh, clustering type is by point cloud. As you can see, uh, it creates pretty straight lines between two clusters, so it's better to use this clustering type in case you want to get a lot of clusters. In this case, it won't be noticeable. Also, there is a, let me show you. So, let's see. Actually, it'll be easier to show just this one iteration. There's also a debris group of properties, so in this group you can define the elements which won't be a clustered, so you can increase it by one layer. So just all the 
uh, elements at the edge of the clusters will be removed from cluster or you can increase amount by one from zero to 100 percent so basically 100 percent here means one layer here but in this way you can just add it even more to make it look even more random or increase layers also you can define amount of uh, elements into each debris right now maximum amount is 25 you can set to one now you can see that all the elements separated so to make them look more interesting you can increase minimum and maximum size also there is a scale variation but it works only for inner fragments inner debris uh, and in this case uh, all our fragments are on the surface all our debris are on the surface so uh, uh, that's all i guess uh, hope you like this uh, new feature for Voronoi fragmentation type and thank you for watching